We're gonna take Luna for a walk. We're gonna do something different. We can take the seed T1000E, put it into the uh, pocket of her jacket. Meanwhile, I'll take the Lily Go T Echo, stick it in my pocket, and I'll use the Lily Go to receive the LoRa signals from the T1000E. And then we'll be able to look at the GPS data that's being sent by the tracker and see how well it does with the tracker on Luna's back. This is Luna with her coat. The dog bone is a pocket where the seed T1000E is. You know, it's a twist coat to the left. It's a problem that I have to fix here. Let's zoom out. Her here. And you can see the water down there. It'll be heading uh, to the west there. Deep down there is the creek. You might be able to hear it in the background. I'm at the end of the walk. Last GPS was at 11.33, seven satellites. We started with zero satellites because I reset the CT-1000E radio. Satellites varied from four to nine. The timestamp changed from two to four minutes intervals. The altitude didn't change at all. I would expect some change. I changed in the altitude about 150 feet during the walk. Let's move back, go to the node map. There's the node map. Uh, Luna's off in the woods <laughs> north of me. Uh, I'm very impressed with the uh, GPS capabilities. As you can see, she zigzagged back and forth as I walked on the uh, gravel road here. We go back again and our walk was 49 minutes and I'm very happy with the T1000 Tracker E on Luna. I've just got to fix the uh, coat problem that's twisted.